Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing in round three of the Sock Hop Slam. After eliminating three quarters of the vehicles that arrived over three months ago, we've got groups one and two of the third round. Kicking us off is Leo Craterface Balmudo from 5 Tree Racing, driving his sparkly blue 57 Chevy weighing 48.6 grams. Leo finished second in each of his first two rounds, accumulating four lap victories. In a chrome red 57 Chevy weighing 48.1 grams for DRT3K, it's Sam Hall. In the first two rounds, Sam won three laps, finishing first and second. In yet another 57 Chevy weighing 48.7 grams, Dangerous Dawn is driving for Vapor Racing. In the first two rounds, Dawn finished first and second, winning three laps. The final driver of Group 1 is Doc from We Race Diecast, driving a modified Anglia 105E weighing 50 grams. Doc tied for first in the first round and took second in round two, totaling three lap victories. Leo and Sam start round three from the front row, Doc and Don in the back. Leo just gets a nose out front and Don tries to pass Sam on the inside. Sam gets sideways and takes a shot from Doc. Leo pulls way ahead and holding straight takes lap one. Doc takes second, Don is third, and Sam rolls in backwards for fourth. Sam and Leo fight hard for the early lead and Sam gets turned trying to block Don, taking a hard hit from Doc entering turn three. Not the best start for Sam, but everyone finishes on lap one. Don joins Leo up front for lap two with a near identical 57 Chevy. They're neck and neck into turn one. Sam falls off the track as Don uses the inside of turn two to take the lead. Leo and Doc struggling to keep up and Don drifts around the final turn. She holds on for the win. Leo takes second, Doc a close third. Sam stays close to Leo at the start, but can't quite clear Doc and gets turned again, this time with even more disastrous results. Sam in a lot of trouble after two, while Leo, Don, and Doc are fighting for the top two spots. Doc gets up front for the first time today alongside Don. Don and Leo with a clear speed advantage. They glide out front as Doc spins and blocks Sam. The paired 57s are flying. Don drifts and she's sideways. Leo trying to push past and they slam into the funnel. Doc bounces off Leo and he takes a hard shot from Sam. We get our first quadruple DNF since round one. Don gets squirrely going through the triangle. A little tap from Leo gets Don totally sideways and Leo pushes her all the way to the finish line where she gets stuck in that finish funnel. Despite no one else getting points, that'll be the end of Sam's tournament for sure. What a disappointing third round for the DRT3K driver. Leo with a slow start out of the back inside and Doc gets a great push from Don. He gets sideways and they jam together in turn two. Don also gets sideways and the field comes to a stop as Doc is able to recover and pull away. Doc with a huge four points on the final lap. Here comes Don for second. And Sam for third. Leo will be the only driver to DNF this lap. This time it's Doc and Don who get sideways and cause all the havoc. With that final lap, both Don and Doc are able to leap ahead of Leo, who had held the lead through the first three laps. They'll be the first drivers moving on to round four. Already moving on to group two, the first driver is Susan from Fumo Diecast Racing, driving a black 57 Chevy weighing 51 grams. Susan won three laps in the first two rounds, finishing first and second. Mopar Mac from Mac Racing is driving a Chevy Nomad weighing 50.7 grams. So far, Mac has won four laps, also taking a first and a second place finish. From We Race Diecast, Gray Wizard is driving his gold 57 Chevy weighing 49.6 grams. Despite winning four laps so far, Gray Wizard finished second in both of his prior groups. Finally, second chancer Big Romy is also in a Chevy Nomad, the Mad Wagon, weighing 50.8 grams. After our first round elimination, Big Romy was voted back in and stormed round two, racking up 15 points and winning that group. Susan and Mac up front, Grey Wizard and Big Romy in the back. The Nomad's a little faster and Mac takes the lead, but he rolls in turn two. Susan pushes past while Wizard and Romy get hung up in turn three. 
a little wobbly, but Susan claims the first lap. Big Romy is second. Wizard is stalled in the final turn. And Mopar Mac is off track behind Hagrid's. Mopar Mac, with a good initial start, gives up the chance at an early lead with a wreck after oversteering following the first turn. Susan gets the win from the pole on lap one. The 57s of Wizard and Susan up front for lap two. They're close into one and Gray Wizard spins. He recovers while Susan passes Romy. Wizard leading in reverse with the field hot on his heels. Romy trying to pass Susan and it's Wizard, Susan, Romy and Mac. More chaos in the first two turns surprisingly determining the finish order again. Two strong finishes from the front row provide Susan a two-point lead. Mopar Mac with early struggles will have to be aggressive to have a chance. Romy and Wizard up front, Mac and Susan in the back. Again, the pack stays tight as Romy takes the lead and gets turned. Wizard gets on the inside and passes in turn three. They get in line and whoa, Wizard rolls and they all slam into the finish funnel. We'll go to replay to see exactly how that shook out because I'm honestly not sure what the finishing order was. Gray Wizard was so hot through the triangle, he hits the outside wall so hard, he pops the side wheelie and just isn't able to recover. The final straight is so slick, when Big Romy gives him a tap, it's enough to carry him across the finish for second. Big Romy's big win vaults him into first, with Susan and Gray Wizard close behind. Unfortunately, Mopar Mac couldn't get it done and is mathematically eliminated at this point. Mac will take his last ride from the pole with the Nomads up front and the 57s in back. Susan with a poor start and Big Romy spins in front of Mac. It's a massive cluster sliding into turn three and Mac gets shoved off the track. Gray Wizard is stuck behind Mac as Romy and Susan pull away. Big Romy and Susan finish one and two and they'll take the top two spots in group two. Susan catches a big break as Mac wrecks and Wizard gets trapped. Romy and Susan move on with scores that really make this group look more separated than they really were. Don't forget, the four-track Summer Pro-Am has gotten kicked off over at Redline Derby. Check out the link below for the playlist that will be built as the series continues from Redline to DRR, Blue Line, and here at the Triangle. Congratulations to Dangerous Dawn, Doc, Big Romy, and Susan. This has been Jim D for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and the continuing round three action of the Sawcops Planet.